Welcome everyone, this is Kazar being you a uh, replay this time we're in my hands down favorite tier 8 medium tank. Medium Let's tank. We'll see once I start grinding out the Russian ones. Can the T 34 top this off, but I highly doubt it. So, this is the Centurion Mark 1, fully upgraded with the top gun, the uh, 20 pounder. No camo for this tank, unfortunately right now, but I already have camo on it. This game is put up because this was roughly one of my best games ever in a medium tank. Plus I promised on World of Tanks uh, European forums that I will put up a gameplay. So pe uh, people who have problems with the Centurion can check it out. Because this is a tanker game that I got like a week ago or yeah something like a week ago before the promotion on the Centurion started I already got that so let's check out what I'm gonna do I'm coming around uh, this corner always this is our tier 8 and tier 7 tier 6 battle quite evenly distributed on mountain pass and here there's only one artillery oh there's a type Hit his commander set, but unfortunately I bounced off. Now, notice one thing. You're gonna notice one thing. There's two types and a T-34. 43, that is. Bounce. And you're gonna see it over and over and over again. This tank is a cool down monstrosity. If you have the op option to not shoot a Centurion, in the turret then do it by all means because this situation over here just proves exactly my point so I get the first kill on the uh, TE-43 now I'm angling myself a little bit better lower plate hit bomb bounce and after we kill those guys I'm gonna show you exactly where all those shots went penetration tracked Quite frankly, those two guys were in a platoon and they played very badly. Another uh, tracking hit. You can track people, keep them tracked forever with this tank. This cannon is so accurate and is so, so punchy in the terms of penetration that you can really do things that in another tank they would be highly impossible. So I'm thinking I want to get the kill on this type. Boom! And look where the shot went, straight into between the two uh, plates and it's still penetrated. There we go on the side, the type finishes off my T-32 friend. Which I think bounced for the most part. I'm already at 2000 damage but my team is... Yeah, they're somewhat fighting but this, this game is gonna be pretty difficult. Now I get penetrated Then I put another hit into the type. And he's quite low on health, but he's he has enough health to withstand uh, two of my shots. He will withstand one, and will be very close to dying on the second one. So I'm taking my aim carefully. I track him, so the Tiger 2 maybe can do something about him. I'm waiting, but the Tiger 2 seems to not have a shot. Oh no, he does, but he's aiming for his turret. Which is a donkey decision. This is a little bit of a waiting game, now we are starting to lose too. Look at how little I saw and how nicely that went into the commander's hat. This gun, honestly, is the best tier 8 medium tank gun. No way around it. This is the best gun cause it does 200 da 240 average damage if I remember correctly. And look, look at this shot. BAM! Two types, dead, plus a T-43. Uh, now we have an IS in our aiming. So he's coming out. This tank has great gun depression. You can use this to cool down effectively. That shot was a little bit donkey. You can cool down like a boss. You can basically penetrate almost anything on your tier 
even from the front bow. I knew he's gonna take a shot. Now, from the knowledge that I have, I am two seconds faster in reloading my gun than he is, at least, because the very fastest guns for heavy tanks shoot about two, about eight seconds on tier eight. So this gun reloads in 6.7 seconds, so that's seven seconds. Not a lot of heavy tanks can beat that. I'm going around, I'm flanking. This is what you want to do with the Centurion. Don't go up always against people frontally, especially since he would be giving me his frontal plate. So I go went, ar went around, taking shots in his back. I think the Tiger will dip or I will reload faster. Yep, I reloaded faster, so I'm at four kills. We evened up the score. I see a T69. Just let's look at the let the wait. Look how many shots I taken. And only two of those or one of those actually penetrated. That one hit penetrated. The two mantle shots didn't go in. And the two shots on the sides didn't go in. This this part over here is very bouncy. So as I said, the Centurion is a great cooldown tank, you can honestly do amazing stuff with it. I found that I, I was quite uneasy with making a decision, do I love this tank or not? Will I like this, will I buy it or and stuff? But after playing a few games I thought to myself, oh shit this is awesome. This is so bloody awesome. Now I'm coming around. I want to go to the to the bottom over there. I saw a super pershing starting to rush our IS3, so I want to help the IS3 as much as I can. I'm at 3.6 thousand damage already. There's a KV3 on the bottom, and he's quite good on life. There's no one to do anything now. I again, I know I will reload faster than the IS3. And I finish off the Super Pershing with 6 kills giving me Top Gun. That was Zarty. Tiger 2 is going around the KV-4. Now you can notice I fought 4 tanks and got roughly 400 damage into me. This guy actually is the first reason why when I started losing life. But as I said, I know I reload faster than anything. So I use the rate of fire. Now I try to side scrape, but it won't pay off that good. I put another shot into him. He probably hits, yeah. He shoots just in the sides, and I guess that's a premium shell. That's a golden shell. Now I don't want to give him the opportunity to kill me. This is going to be a little bit longer. We're gonna wait a little bit. The IS-2 actually will come up down that hill. And amazingly, he's gonna kill the IS-3. But the IS-3 was a very bad driver, honestly. King Tiger spotted the uh, Hummel. So he's gonna kill him in a second. And I'm waiting. If Is this KV-3 be gonna, be, gonna be stupid enough to give me his side armor? Or is he gonna camp and wait for me to do a move? I will not move to make a move because he can kill me with one hit and he proved to me that he is using gold. Or oh, I think he was using gold because that kind of angle. Yeah, and I said to the tiger, kill the RT and cap. And you can see IS, IS2 didn't spot the IS3. That means the IS3 is coming back. Now I'm using... I think I'm gonna use zoom out to check. Oh no. Yeah, I just moved around my camera spot. I see the KV3 was not looking at me, so I take him out. I wait for the IS3 to be spotted. That guy was on full life, but he's in our base. So I say, good job. Oh, the lion said, good job. We're at 5,000 damage. The IS2 is going back was the cap. I'm gonna try to help out the tiger, but I think I won't make it honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, I said to the IS, back to cap, and load HE. And uh, the guy in the uh, IS3 is such a stupid 
person. He basically went around uh, offending us that we are chickens and stupid. That we don't want to fight him. And I was laughing like, no, you were the chicken because you ran away from me. Because he basically did. He could have came and support his KV3 friend. He would have been easily able to kill me. But he didn't. He went for the capture like a faggot. And that lost them the game. So there it is. So let's look at the end plates for this game. So here we have the first plate for this game. Ace Tanker Master Gunner Top Gun. 4.7 thousand experience. That's 2.3 and a half. Uh, without uh, the daily double because this was the daily double. And 74,000 uh, credits. That's before the competition. So before the buff 30%. So let's look at the second plate. On the second plate we see I did 5006 damage with 7 kills and I unbuffed uh, on uh, premium experience of 1579. That's quite substantial. You can see that the enemy team was quite good because they had 3000, 3000 and then a thousands. So quite a bit of players knew what they were doing but on our team we had the IS-2 with a thousand, the IS-3 with a thousand and the King Tiger with two thousand and me with five so basically we can easily say that I carried the game. So third uh, plate. And on the third play 31 shots out, 27 hits. The damage we said, uh, hits received 7 only 4, no only 3 penetrations for a potential damage received of 2100 but we received about, I don't know. We received quite a lot because of that KV3 towards the end. So yeah, we made 42, almost 43,000 credits with this game, so it was awesome. So, that's it. If you guys liked the video, please hit the like button and comment on the video if you think that I should have done something uh, another way. This is Kazra, signing off.